Bro, they going crazy right here, Fletcher. Carp, I think. Oh my God, they going insane. Fletcher, come here. Dude. Oh, Dang, I got one, Fletcher. I can't even move him. Put it that way. Five plus? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's five plus. Yo, what's poppin', people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button because we are about to hit 500K. That's a huge milestone for me, guys. And to know that we're almost at half a milli, that's just crazy. I think we're like 3,000 away right now. And if we could hit that, go tell your mom, your grandma, your brother, your sister. Do this man a favor and subscribe button. to his channel. <laughs> Almost 10 years of hard work, baby. Next milestone after that is going to be a milli, man. We got to hit that milli. I know we can do it together. We have the best fan base on YouTube. And if you could, hit that notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. So Fletcher has a little series on his channel. He's been talking about this trophy pond, okay? I don't know if he's bluffing or not, so we're going to try to find out today. Dude, there's biggins there's in biggins here. There's biggins in here. I haven't watched any of the videos, so he said he's caught some really good ones so i'm excited about it and it's a beautiful little area and it looks juicy it looks saucy it looks like some 10 pounders live in here so hopefully we'll end up catching one that's about eight to ten pounds let me uh let's get a little little pan through right here man oh yeah oh baby look at that pond and it, it goes over there as well man it's, it's kind of hard to fish from the bank because there's like literally like eight feet of just overgrowth like between here and the bank so you know if we hook a big one it's gonna be a it's gonna be interesting to try to get it through all this stuff that's like, what i was asking him i like walked up and i'm like dude how are you gonna get like a five to ten pounder yeah. <laughs> on the bank from here but uh that'd be you interesting you to get dirty you have to get all the way up in this stuff but it gets listen soft. man i don't mind getting dirty i don't mind walking through this but you know one thing that Noah's afraid of is them snakes. I don't like them snakes. You don't like them snakes. snakes. I don't like slippery little snakes. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and hop into it. By the way, guys, everybody that supported the Big Bass Energy brand on the website recently, thank you guys so much. I got my white Big Bass Energy shirt on today. If you'd like to check it out, kickingtheirbass.com. Join the family, join the nation, and also use hashtag Big Bass Energy on Instagram. And I've been going through there liking a lot of posts. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I'll pop her up on the screen. All right, boys, I'm excited than ever right now. I'm ready to just catch a big fish okay we're ready to make it happen i haven't gone fishing at a trophy aka trophy pond today or in a minute so we're gonna be throwing my pro ti mock crush combo this thing whips about a mile 17 pound fluorocarbon because listen man can't afford to break off them giants i had a little crankbait on from when we were fishing yesterday we're actually gonna be throwing a freaking chatter donk Listen, man, brings me back to the days. It is hard to beat the chatter donk, guys. If you want to catch big fish, just tie you on a chatter bait, AKA the chatter donk, and you'll catch freaking huge ones. Something about that bait, I don't know why, but big fish just, just they, they love it. I don't know why, but they love it. And last year I caught probably over 150 bass over four pounds. Like, no exaggeration. You can go back in the content and watch them. It was almost every video. I was just addicted to throwing it. I stopped throwing it for a little bit this year, and now we're back at it, throwing it again. So Fletcher has a little chatterbait box with a ton of chatterbaits, and I want to steal one real quick. Just so you know, I'm, I'm trying to irritate Fletcher every episode by stealing <laughs> at least one this bait. Is, this is the special um, one just for you. I call this one the chatterdink. The chatterdink? This is made specially for Noah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I might have to throw the chatterdink. What color are you thinking, bro? I might throw a little chartreuse action. So you got the white, you got the chartreuse, and this one, if you look closely, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a little bit of gold sparkles in it, and I, I actually, like that. I actually have one with a little paddle tail on it already. Okay, you, you want that. Fletcher just got the buffet for me. All right. Got his little swim bait on there. It looks like it's just like a pearl with a little bit of blue glimmer. We're going to tie this bad boy on. We're going to get out to this pond and we're going to hook one. That's freaking huge. We fished yesterday and I caught a dinosaur of a fish. <laughs> a bowling ball. I'm not going to say the weight of it, but you guys need to go watch it. It was a frog fishing video. It's probably one to two videos back from this one. Go check it out, guys, because... <laughs> It was a really good video. We had a good time and a bunch of stupid stuff happened in that video. I was laughing the whole time I was editing it, which rarely happens. So <laughs> you need to go check that one out. I'll pop it up on the screen, link down below. Let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple spare swim baits just in case we're gonna be walking around this area. If you guys are wondering why we have the boat, it's literally just for storage. 
Sounds kind of <laughs> 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 literally just for storage. We just like come in here and grab all the baits. Go. For a mobile truck bed. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm gonna put these in my pocket. Let's go ahead and get it started and catch a big fish. Did you see it? <laughs> yeah, that was 100. It was 100. 100 percent a snake. We haven't even got started and there's a creepy crawly just that thing was fast bro i yeah, think it's faster than i could run so i think it was slithering enough. let's look at this chatterbait in the water guys look at that it's a little it's really clear in here man really clear i like that watch this a tin come up <laughs> Dude, and i would out freak out here. i would literally freak out <laughs> i think that i think that um the shark trees are gonna work good today but we're gonna go ahead and start casting covering some water and see if some of these big fish want to chatterbait today is there a lot of bait fish in here Oh, look at that gator too. Oh yeah. Little gator guy. Gator guy. Fish this grass line. Holy mother of pearl. Oh, that was a big one too, Fletcher. I was playing too much. Like I got a piece of him. That that was a freaking donkatromus. I don't even know if that's a word. Calm down, Noah. It was like second cast, what in the world? Fletcher says it's not easy to catch them out here, but if you catch one, it's usually a big one and just had a bite on my second cast. Actually threw my chatterbait out there, let it sink to the bottom. Started to slow roll it and he hit it. So let's, uh, oh man, that got me excited. He just didn't have it all the way. God dog. I'm excited. Fletcher just got him one. Looks like a two pounder. The bottom is not super grassy too, which is good. Dude, I mean like just clobber it, dude. Like right here. Did you see him? No, I never saw him. I didn't I didn't hook him. He might eat it, but like that is just I don't know what's it's like they're just short striking it. They were biting like that yesterday too, you know? They just weren't committing or something. Alright, we're back where we filmed the intro. See if we can get one over here. They're just short striking. We went fishing yesterday and they were doing the same thing. It's like they're not wanting to commit and, and eat it fully. So hopefully we'll get a few. But if we find if we get in front of the right fish, he's gonna eat it. That's the thing. I am throwing this huge swim bait too, so it is a little bit bigger if a smaller one is gonna eat it. Oh, that's really shallow right here. There's two foot in this pocket. He's right here in this corner. You can see my chatter right. Bro, they going crazy right here, Fletcher. Carp, I think. Oh my God, they going insane, Fletcher, come here. Dude. Yeah, bro. Come here. Look at them going insane, bro. There's a feeder and it. it's like carp or something. Yeah, it's bluegill, but bass are eating the bluegill, bro. You're gonna get hammered. Four pounder, son. There's a feeder right here, guys, and bluegill are, oh my lordy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the tail on that. That's a thick fish. I can go <laughs> grab the scale if you if you want. Honestly, let's do it. That's a four pounder, dude, ain't it? Look how thick he is. I didn't think he was that big when I flopped him up, but he's just so fat. fat. Wait, I've never seen this in my life. Come here. Does he have something to... That's pink. Why is it under his tongue pink? I don't know. I've never witnessed like a a feeder live in action this is insane i guess this is why we call this a trophy pond how can i not cast in that right now there's more bass eating those bluegill i promise you all right guys the more i'm looking at him he might be we were just talking about maybe high threes but he's so just like stout man it's filled out we'll see let's take a look i don't know if he's on before but well i'm guessing oh. like four one Four, Four pounds, two ounces, baby. Oh, hey! Dude, what? that is a freaking fish. And you know what's funny? That big one in the other episode, too, just had a tiny mouth. And that's how this one is. That is just a thick, healthy bass, bro. Let's go! Thick, healthy bass, baby! Let's go. We're gonna get her back in the water. Should we release her on this side? Oh, let's, let's put her back her? right here. Just let her get back to the feeding frenzy. Let her get some more bait fish. Yeah, show him that, Fletcher. Look at this. Yeah, this is this crazy. Is... These fish are going crazy out here. Never seen anything like that. Four pounder. Let's get back in there. It's the best that I could do. I hate to throw them, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't really do much. With them. And you cannot tell me there's not more bass feeding on them bluegill right oh, there. Sure. That was first cast, homie. 
Those uh, those splashes are a little round sheet just to be a bluegill. I ain't gonna lie. Go, doggy. Big one. Another. Whoa! Fletcher, that was like a seven pounder. That was a tank. Fletcher. <laughs> freaking out, dude. I need to calm down. I'm freaking out. Are you doubting my trophy for? I ain't doubting after seeing that. That was stupid, bro. So pretty much just talk about, sorry guys for freaking out. I just get too excited sometimes. I, I about literally lost it right there. I don't even know what just happened. Whoa! Just ran a quarter of a mile in 0.25 seconds. So what we're doing, this feeder just went off. You know, all these bluegill are going in, look at that. They're just going ape on the bait right now. And there's bass right under the bluegill feeding on the bluegill. You know, these bass have an opportunity to ambush these bluegill while they're crazing about this bait. Threw in there, caught a four pounder, threw right back in the next cast and hooked one that was like seven pounds and he just jumped off. I, <laughs> is that the biggest one you've seen in here yet? Yeah, <laughs> that one, that one goes on the roll, that was. That was huge, dude. I can't believe he came off. That's just depressing. That fish was easily six, seven plus. Oh. That was four or five. <sighs> Dang it, Fletcher, that was back-to-back -back cast. Imagine catching a four and a seven back-to-back. -back. I would have lost it. I can't believe I lost that fish, though. That's just, mm, mm, that's aggravating. And that's exactly what these bass are doing. They're just, they're right under these bluegill feeding. They're smart for that. You know, these bass could be, they're sitting on the bottom. Yeah, they could be just sitting right below these fish. Well, another thing, you know, I work a chatterbait on the bottom a lot. We can try that. And they might think it's an injured bait fish, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna hop it back and see if I get anything doing that. Just kind of hop her on the bottom like a j I'm hooked into something. Son. That ain't good, be careful. I might be on that little wire that connects that. That's yeah, that's what it feels like. Always something. Never fails to mess me up. That breaks my heart, okay. Well, let's go ahead and go rig up again. All right, before we tie up right here. Mm, guys, I can't believe it. And I'm sorry for freaking out. I, I know some of you guys hate when I freak out. It's just, I, I love fishing so much, guys. I, I I don't know what to tell you. If, you. if you don't like me freaking out, I'm sorry, man. It's just, I get excited. I love fishing. There's nothing more that I'd rather be doing right now. And um, to cast in, and hook one that's four pounds and to literally cast right back in and hook one that's like seven pounds i don't care who you are that's going to get you excited and i about lost my marbles right there and spazzed out like i was a little raccoon running around i don't even know what i'm saying Whoa! we're gonna retie right now go back in there and hopefully catch another one fletcher has one right now is he big how big is he ah two pounds all right let's rig up Let's get back in there. All right, we gotta get revenge on that fish. On a serious note, we gotta get revenge. It's so funny, guys. I, uh, I'm uh, i like out of my chatterbait stock, so I'm having the steel fletchers, and it's so funny because I'd never take baits from anyone. Like that's, I'd, I'd never do that. But I can tell you one thing is that <laughs> I was always the person providing baits throughout high school and college. Because if you guys didn't know, I'm a competitive angler. I, I fish a lot of tournaments. That's what I grew up doing. That's what started my channel. and um. I'm gonna continue to make those videos as much as possible. But um, I used to always supply everybody with the baits and now Fletcher's supplying me with the baits. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But uh, all right, man, we're gonna get back in there. We gotta, we gotta make up for that fish because that's gonna haunt me tonight if I don't catch one at least that size today. So we gotta get to work, get our big bass energy on, which I got my big bass energy shirt on right now. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. I felt a little bad this morning, but I'm feeling good now. Rig us up an old swimmer bait. All right, well, Noah's back in business. It's time. We're gonna come in this corner. They got like, looks like there's some little dollar pads. And what we're gonna do is throw parallel, as you guys can tell right here. And there should be a bass on the edge of this. If I'm a betting man. But what I will say is today, what I've noticed is the fish have been offshore a little bit more in the middle like those two bites that i had those two bites that we had right there you can't really count just because they were feeding on this bluegill you know those were 
Hey, I got one, Fletcher. One? Yeah. I can't even move him. I don't know what's going on. He's running at me. Oh, gosh. Uh, bring it. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a good spot. I, I can't tell how big he is, but I can't even move him. Put it that way. Like five plus? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's oh, five yeah. plus. Oh, God, look at him. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that's a five. Uh, yes. That's five. Yes. Okay. That's, that's a five. That Look is... at these brutes, though. They're mouth. Whoa. What's up with his mouth? He's got a little something going on. You know what's crazy about this catch, Fletcher? Threw it out there, clicked my reel. He's already on it. Just right away. And I didn't even let it sink. Yeah. It's happening today, boys. This is our day. Lost seven pounder. That ain't stopping us. We just throw back in there and catch a five. <laughs> All right, guys. Had to come stand in the shade. That's a five pounder. I'd be surprised if it's not. Honestly, I don't know. If he if he's not, he's a high four. Yeah, it's a high four at the very at the very least. Is she there? <gasps> oh! Four eleven. Four. Five, four fifteen. No. Oh! You, you know what's funny is right when I put him on there, it said five oh two. I thought I was uh, about to have it. Leveled yeah. out. He's a five pounder. I mean, as close as it gets Bro. right there. God, dog, man. Give me some. Give me yes, sir. To touch on that. For y'all that don't know, that's in ounces, so four pounds, 15 yeah. ounces. Yep. yep. A lot four of people pounds. don't realize that's not in pounds. No, the people comment about that. Yeah. Before, <laughs> that too. Um, I'm going to set that down. We came in the shade just so a little better lighting, but that is a five pounder. That is awesome. We're going to have to get back in there, throw around in this pocket. I threw the bait out there. The moment it hit the water, already hook setting them. And he was just running at me. And this fish has one of the craziest mouths I've ever seen. And, and what I've noticed about each and every single one of these bass is their mouths are tiny. Is that yeah. something, is that how everyone is? Yeah, the, pretty much everyone I've caught so far has had small mouths. Wow. But they've been uh, ferocious. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Let's get them back in the water. Here we go, boys. Five pounder. We got a four. We lost a seven. Caught a five. I guess this is why Fletcher calls it a trophy. <laughs> yes, sir. Can I walk on this? Uh, you can get out pretty far. You'll feel when it gets squishy. <laughs> I just see. Just dunk. <laughs> yeah, right there. All right. Beautiful five pounder. Give her a little toss. Wow. That's why you gotta love fishing, guys. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're lake fishing, pond fishing, golf course pond fishing. It's just the excitement of it. Going out in the outdoors and having a good time. And that's what it's about. Let's get back in there, Fletcher. Now it's your turn. I know, I know. It. Seven plus pounder, Fletcher. All right, guys, that's got my blood pumping. I threw right over there, Fletcher. It literally hit the water. I clicked my reel. I just felt weight. Load it up. Yeah. Now my chatterbait's a little messed up. Ain't complain about nine pounds of fish. Yeah. Two fish. I know. It would have been 16 pounds and three fish in like literally 10 minutes. That would have just been dumb, dude. My thought process it was when that went off, I was like, maybe the bass would just kind of scatter in this pocket. And sure enough, he was there. Have one bite me. Yeah. Like a five pounder. Got a boat flipping? Boat flipping. Yeah, you can grab him right there. Oh my God. How big is he? Oh my God. How big is that? I don't see it, but I, that's big. Oh, that's a six pounder. <laughs> Fletcher, dude. What is going on? I'm just leaving my bait yeah, there. Yeah, just leave it there. That's a six pounder all day. It's close to it. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he was that big. I was trying to flip him up on the bank, dude. That's what happened with my PB though. Freaking sales call. Guys, I'm speechless. That's... You can't catch them like that every day, can you? <laughs> I don't know, Fletcher. I don't know if she's going to be quite six, but... I think she's going to be like th five and three quarters. All right, it's done. Five pounds, ten ounces, man. A little over five and a half, almost five and a quarter. It, it stopped at 512, but then it adjusted. Get in there. We're cl climbing the ladder. <laughs> I'm really climbing the ladder, man. God, dog. These fish in here are stupid. 
<laughs> like seriously, that's just like. And to think you were doubting my trophy palm, boy. I was boy. doubting your trophy palm for a minute. I ain't doubting it no more, boy. That's a freaking fish. I, catching them like that, man, you're having a good time. Like, that's just beautiful. So, the, the, the markings on these bass, they're just pretty, too. You Look know? at this black dot this one's got on this. Oh, snatch. wow, dude. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Dang, let's get them back in the water. You're on the wrong way. I'm going to get a picture, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like... All right, guys. <laughs> Me and Fletcher were just talking about it. Fletcher, you were throwing the black and blue, right? The black and blue. He's going to put on a chartreuse now. That's always something that we keep in mind. You know, when we go fishing, if we're throwing the same bait, we're always throwing different colors. So, you know, I'm throwing the chartreuse and it's just getting it done. He's throwing a black and blue and they haven't bit it as good. So, he's going to switch over to that chartreuse now. <laughs> Dude, this bass has crazy markings on him, man. It's just insane. Off she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like button on this one, guys. It's going to be a good episode.